About two days before I lost my sight, everything become white. My father, as I've always idolized him, he's always my hero. To me, this is like the worst thing that could happen to him. There you go. That's it. I was greatly, deeply touched when I saw him at the hospital. He rang me a keyboard, and I entertained the nurses from that day on, and then it carried me through. Oh, no, no. He had to play. That's his life. That's blood. That's his inner feeling. That's his outer feeling. That's what he gives to people. I was led to the bandstand, and I sit down at the piano, and it was strange because this is the first time that I didn't know where the drummer was. I didn't know where the bass player was. It was serious. And I mean, he turned the piano inside out. He had people standing on their feet, standing ovation during his solos. Yeah, I was so happy and so proud to see him up there, to see him in his glory. It was like the greatest night of his life. It was like a, like a rebirth. Okay, did you get a Here's your receipts. And Thank you. Lucky I haven't got 16 tickets together. Oh, OK. Good job, man. Bruce <laughs> Thompson, how about a big hand? problems that you have in life, you got to have people behind you. You got to feel that they are there. My father's blindness has brought the family closer together. We all look at things in life a little different now. If he can go on with this great tragedy, that we all can overlook many of the things that happen in our lives. They're not that big. You love his music. When you hear it, it's always beautiful. It's always right. That's Brostown.